Here on Tech360, we like covering the latest and greatest from the world of tech. And in 2025, if you're talking about technology, then you have to talk about artificial intelligence. Massive announcement this week, Gemini 3, which marks an important release for Google at a time when major AI companies are rapidly updating their flagship models. The new system is positioned as Google's most capable AI model yet and is arriving first in the form of Gemini 3 Pro across Search, the Gemini app, and the company's developer tools. Early benchmarks shared by Google suggest improvements in several areas, including reasoning, mathematics, and factual accuracy. The company reports stronger scores on tests such as LM Arena and better performance on multimodal tasks involving text, images, video, audio, and code. While external validation is still limited, these numbers indicate that Google is attempting to close gaps that opened up as rivals release newer versions of their models over the past year. You can't speak of LLMs and AI chatbots without talking about agentic because that's the way forward according to most AI experts. One of the notable additions to this particular Gemini launch is the Gemini Agent System, which is designed to handle multi-step tasks such as email organization and travel planning. Google says the feature keeps users in control of sensitive or irreversible actions, though real-world behavior will likely determine how reliable these systems truly are. For developers, the model is launching alongside Google Anti-Gravity, a development platform where agent-based workflows can help automate parts of the coding process. Integrations with AI Studio, Vertex AI, and third-party tools like GitHub and Replit are expected to make the model easier to adopt across the different environments. Google is also testing a more advanced version. It's called Gemini 3 Deep Think, which is still undergoing safety reviews before a wider rollout. The broader update includes new generative user interface elements in Search and the Gemini app, allowing the system to produce visual layouts simulations and tools directly in response to your prompts. Safety and security remain a top priority according to Google. The company describes Gemini 3 as its most secure model to date with added protections against prompt injection and misuse basically by bad actors along with third-party evaluations. As with any model at this scale, how it behaves once deployed to millions of users, basically once the genie is out of the bottle, will be a key indicator of its robustness and of course its commercial success. But a key question surrounding the release is why Gemini 3 carries so much weight for Google? Why are they in the spotlight? Let me put this into perspective. Over the past year, the company has faced growing competition from multiple AI labs, each releasing models with strong reasoning, reliable multi-model understanding, and increasingly capable agentic features. Google's major projects, particularly Search, now rely heavily on keeping pace with AI development. So AI mode, for example, there's maybe hundreds of millions of users who are now using it because it comes with default with Google Search. Is that the way to really crank up the numbers in terms of who's using your service? If Gemini 3 performs consistently in real-world usage, it may help stabilize confidence in Google's direction. In the event that the model struggles to meet expectations, the company could risk falling further behind at a moment when user habits and developer ecosystems are shifting quickly. Gemini 3 Pro is rolling out now across Google's consumer and developer platforms with additional features and the ultra tier expected to expand availability in the coming weeks. But the real question is, is Gemini 3 truly keeping up with the other AI models? Yes, in many respects, Gemini 3 is right in front of the pack and doing a fantastic job as well. I use it all the time and in some areas, it's genuinely competitive, even better than the others in the race for tasks such as multimodal reasoning, integrated agentic workflows, especially within Google's ecosystem, or more future-facing AI use cases involving video generation, audio, code, and image processing. It's not the market leader yet because Gemini 3 still isn't clearly dominant across several key dimensions though, including search style answers like perplexity gives you, live web citations, developer ecosystem depth, and overall tooling breadth. ChatGPT and perplexity hold strong advantages in these areas and they're unlikely to be overtaken immediately. And that's interesting because 
if you were viewing the tech landscape from a distance, you would imagine Google with that search repository, with years and years of being the market leader in search, would be able to use some of that to be right on top with Gemini. But in fact, what you are seeing in terms of innovation is ChatGPT getting into search, getting into the browser game with OpenAI and Atlas, perplexity, working on so many more ways, and integrating and developing partnerships here in India as well, getting the numbers up here in India for Sam Ortman and for perplexity, that seems like a top priority. And we hope that it continues to be for Google as well as consumers and end users who are really, who benefited from the geo wave of 4G and now 5G. We're just very happy because a lot of the telcos are giving us these services for free. We'll do another piece on whether we should be paying for these services when you're getting so many premium features for free now with your Airtel, Geo, Vodafone subscriptions. But largely as end users, we stand to benefit in this age of AI. We just have to be a lot more responsible, ethical, and use AI and technology to our advantage. But for now, here's the lowdown on Gemini 3. Artificial intelligence, cars, air purification, upgrading your devices. So much content packed into one episode of Tech360, yet another action-packed episode of your favorite technology show, draws to a close. We hope you've enjoyed this particular episode. If you want to consume the rest of our content, all this and so much more, remember it's always available across the NDTV network and across the multiverse. So if you want to log on to the NDTV website or on our social media channels, also on the super popular, super cool and slick NDTV app, Tech360 is available across. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until next week, this is your host Ayush Alavadi saying, Adios.